From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Rhinos are facing their worst crisis in decades. Over the last few years, the number of animals being poached has exploded. Kruger National Park in South Africa has paid a heavy price for having the largest rhino population in the world. Ken Maggs is head of the South African Environmental Crime Investigation and Air Services. I believe it's, it's a big threat, a huge problem for us at the moment. The worst case scenario is that we lose every single rhino on the African continent. Rhinos have been near extinction before. There were about 100,000 black rhinos in the 1960s. But they were hunted and poached until just 2,400 remained. Commercial trade in rhino horn was banned by CITES, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, in 1977. Secretary General of CITES, John Scanlon. If not for CITES, the rhino would be extinct in the wild today. It is because of CITES that the species has recovered to the point where we now have in the order of 25,000 rhino on the planet. But as black market demand for their horns continues to surge, so does the killing. Over the last few years, poaching in South Africa has skyrocketed. This species will be driven to extinction in the wild if these trends continue. Wildlife crime is estimated to be worth billions of dollars a year. Attracted by spiraling profits, CITES believes organized crime syndicates are moving in. We have the poaching groups well armed, from pistols to, to sophisticated military weapons, AK-47s, uh, adequate ammunition. We've had poachers armed with hand grenades. Rhino horn has been used in traditional medicine in China and Vietnam for centuries. But the demand for non-traditional uses is intensifying in the emerging economies in Asia. I decided to buy this piece because I'm getting old and I need some medicine. This Hanoi resident paid $2,000 for his piece of horn. After 20 minutes of rubbing the horn against a specifically designed bowl with a drawing of a rhino on the side, he poured the mixture into a glass and drank the milky liquid. I heard from friends that this piece of rhino horn can cure many diseases, like stroke or fever. I heard the rumor that it can also cure cancer. In the markets of Hanoi, it doesn't take long to find rhino horn for sale. But its authenticity is questionable. The CITES Management Authority in Vietnam believes a significant percentage of rhino horn for sale in the markets is fake. The price is 144 million Vietnamese dongs for 100 grams. That's 7,000 US dollars. The only way we're going to tackle this problem is by stopping the poaching, stopping the smuggling, and stopping the consuming. The government of South Africa is fighting back. Soldiers from the South Africa National Defense Force have deployed in Kruger Park. And CITES is supporting a new DNA database which is aiming to profile the DNA of all of Africa's rhinos. The new technique will allow any rhino horn seized by police at border crossings to be identified, linking all perpetrators along the crime chain and helping bring about a prosecution. This is going to be a tough, long fight. But if we all work together, range states, consumer states, at national level and international level, we will win this fight. It is hoped that this new international cooperation will be a turning point in the protection of this incredible species. Otherwise, Africa's rhinos could slide over the brink into extinction. This report was produced by Andrew Martin for the United Nations.